even as the U.S. military launched Operation Christmas Drop this week, delivering toys, gifts, and essential supplies to the people of Micronesia and Palau. When is this a crisis? Lawmakers in Washington blocked a bill that would renew economic aid to three key U.S. allies in the Pacific, Micronesia, the Marshall Islands, and Palau. The White House calls the aid critical to national security. Micronesia's former president, David Panuelo, agrees. So we consider ourselves a part of the homeland security of the United States, even though we are a sovereign nation. Panuelo says China is trying to change that, though Beijing denies any wrongdoing. Your vice president was given envelopes of cash from the Chinese. Correct, and he has disclosed that uh, to me as one of the direct evidence. And so you can see that they are uh, seeking influence. In an agreement known as the Compacts of Free Association, Washington pays these nations $7.1 billion over 20 years for the right to build radar sites, test missiles, and to prevent China from entering a large swath of the Western Pacific. But those funds will only be approved if lawmakers on Capitol Hill reach agreement on border security. For us, it's like there's a strategic interest. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a U.S. Uh, uh, security interest. Uh, we, we are partners. Let's get this done. Palau's president, Surangel Whips, tells VOA his country faces a $37 million budget shortfall. He says while U.S. lawmakers debate whether to approve these funds, Chinese officials are prepared to exploit any voids left behind by Washington. Why inflict damage on the relationship and, and, and create distrust and all of that when, it, to me, it's, it's, it's just simple. Uh, we have an agreement. Uh, uh, let's move forward. Approving the compact's funding has broad bipartisan support in Washington. Republican Congresswoman Michelle Steele says she supports it. We really have to protect our allies and we have to use that fund. That fund is, I think, I believe about $7 billion. Right. It's a very, very important uh, amount that we have to use for that area because China, my God, you know, it's very dangerous. Lawmakers are due to leave Washington December 15th. The question now, will they be delivering economic stability for these Pacific allies in time for Christmas? Jessica Stone, VOA News, Washington.